So, the Oculus Quest just got hand tracking. Let's go check it out. So, Facebook is delivering upon its promises. Yesterday, the very anticipated hand tracking update came out for the Quest. It hasn't come out for everyone yet, but I have managed to get my hands on the ADV sideload zip and sideloaded it to my Quest in order to show you guys what it's truly like. So this video will be the first impressions for the hand tracking update. And if you do want to get it yourself, please comment down in the description below. I will release the zip. Um, I just need to know whether enough of you want the zip or whether the update has already rolled out to everyone. So before we begin, let me tell you that the update is not actually supported by any apps and games yet. And that's a little bit of a disappointment, but it's fully understandable. They want to release it to the consumers first and get some first impressions, see where the bugs are at, see what the problems are, and of course there will be bugs. It's in fact under the experimental features tab, so there will be bugs and there will be problems, but hey, we're ready for that. So what is actually going to happen is this is releasing to consumers first, and then on the week of the 16th, which is next week, the developer SDK will release to all the developers. This is really exciting because I'm really hoping on games like VRChat supporting this so that I could have full finger movements without having to buy the expensive index controllers and be fully able to interact with people in VRChat using my hands, using gestures. That would be absolutely amazing. And seeing what Oculus has done here, I've played around with this maybe for about 15 minutes or so, just in the menu. I have played around with it, just seeing what Oculus has done in this short period of time where they have promised it at Oculus Connect 6 to now, it's absolutely amazing and it's incredible. And in fact, the more people use it, the better it will get because it's training their neuron networks. So this is absolutely amazing. I'm very excited for this. Without further ado, let's jump right into the update. So, I got my quest box, just like I promised you guys, I did get the case, and it's absolutely incredible. So, I got my VR cover, and I got my Vidmo VR, and I got the case. So, uh, believe it or not, I actually found out that this is Polish. This comes from Poland, and I am Polish. So, this is not Widmo VR, it's Widmo VR. Um, yeah, so that's just a little thing there. That's how you're supposed to pronounce it. I don't think anyone's going to pronounce it properly, but that's the way it's supposed to be pronounced. Vidmo VR. So, um, so yeah, I got those. They're absolutely amazing. The VR cover does help make the Quest a little bit more comfortable. Um, it was already comfortable for me to begin with. I didn't have any issues with it. So, yeah. Um, if you want to see a full-blown review on these things, now that I have them, comment down in the comment section below and... Um, I'll hopefully get to that. So, without further ado, let's jump right in. Uh, when I was doing the update, I did pre-record some videos, so I'm hopefully going to have a voiceover going here right now on how to perform the update. And now I'm going to record the part where I do the first impressions. So, in the case, I need to grab my touch controllers. Actually, I don't even think you need them after setting it up the first time, but I'm gonna grab them anyway because it is an experimental feature, so I don't even know if it's like fully on the entire time or not. But I guess we're about to find out, because I did turn it on, so... Let's see... Confirm Guardian. Oh my god! You don't need the controllers. Okay, so you guys can't actually see this right now, but um, I need to expand my Guardian system. Yeah, Guardian. Off. Acknowledge. Bingo! Okay. So it turns out that when you turn on the hand tracking, it actually stays on even after you restart the headset. So you don't need the controllers at all, which is absolutely amazing. I'm going to start recording right now. So you guys can now see my hands just like they are in real life. This is absolutely amazing. As you can see here, here are my hands. This is incredible. <laughs> and it's tracking so well, like even compared to what I have back there, which is the leap motion. As you can see, when your hands get close together, it does lose tracking, but that's... um. That's to be fixed using the neural networks, but like there is a tiny bit of latency, but come on guys, this is, this is an experimental beta. So I believe that I have this pre-recorded, but just in case I don't, when you do the update, you're going to find it under experimental features right here. Um, and when you turn this on, you're going to get full-blown hand tracking. There's a tutorial that turns on the first time you turn this on and it shows you how you use all the features. So right now, pinch is to select and that works really really well so as you can see here i can go into my library i can select um 
the apps that do support it now are very limited, but I can support like the Oculus browser, for example. Uh, oh, quality. This is, this is our beautiful website. So <laughs> this is, um, this is the website. I'm just going to browse the website. So as you can see here, it works perfect. Like honestly, the, the pinching and the dragging, it works really, really well. And I'm going to be very honest with you. I know what most of you want to see because most of you probably are here just for this one gesture. Yes, indeed. Showing the middle finger does work, sort of. <laughs> and it's pretty ironic that I'm showing it to John right now. But, um, but yes, yes, showing the middle finger does indeed work. And I don't know if I'm allowed to show that on YouTube, but I know that most of you are here for that for VR chat. But as you can see here, I'm going to move all my fingers like this right now, moving all my fingers. Uh, I can make a fist and it knows that it's a fist. I can, um, I can put my thumb inside the fist and it's going to do, it's going to try recognize that, but that needs more training for the neuron network. So as you can see there, that's sort of trying to recognize it. Um, but making like a normal fist works perfectly fine. No issues whatsoever. Um, Touching all your fingers also works perfectly fine. I believe I can touch tips on these fingers. What happened there? Um, and it, it like glitches out because again, the hands are touching and the neural networks don't have enough data for that to work properly. But again, the more people use this, the better. Uh, it trains Facebook's algorithm and its neural networks get more data and therefore become more accurate. But for now, as you can see guys, this is working really, really well and if i were to pinch this it should take me to the latest video it uh, the website is slightly broken that's concerning i must fix that later but if i were to scroll down to the very bottom where we do indeed have the latest video right here and i tap on this it should play the video so this is actually the there we go so that works really really well Another app that does actually support this is Oculus TV. Oculus TV supports hand tracking, which is great, but it doesn't bring you into the weird menu thing that it would normally bring you into when you have the controllers. Instead, it brings you into this. But hey, that's understandable because we're still in experimental features. We're still in beta. But as you can see here, you can totally, I don't know, download Netflix or something and watch it using hands. Can you? Actually, let me try that. If I were to browse YouTube. <clears throat> so this is actually what happens when you're using your hands and an app doesn't support them. You'll need controllers for this app. Use a controller to, to select continue or use your hand to select cancel. So as you can see here, it'll actually give you that information um, when you try to launch an app that doesn't support hand tracking. So yeah, no, this is, um, as you can see guys, it's working really well. I'm super excited to see what Oculus can do with this. Imagine a world where we can use our hands instead of controllers and somehow have haptic feedback on them. That would be absolutely incredible. Or uh, the new Qualcomm chip, the XR2 is actually coming out and that's going to enable seven cameras and it's going to focus on AR and VR. And I can imagine that that's going to be even better. In fact, have we stopped recording? I wonder when we stop recording. Anyway, that shouldn't really matter. Um, but yeah, no guys, I'm super excited for this new technology. As you can see, it's working extremely well. And I have found a few bugs with it right now, but those are to be expected. All of you guys out there with a quest, get this goddamn update so that we can train those neural networks. Get this thing up there, get the developers creating apps for this so that we can have a full blown hand tracking experience. Hopefully the latency goes away, but honestly, it's so little that I would trade this for controllers any day if apps supported it. If VRChat supported this, I would totally 100% trade this in for my controllers. So hopefully the developers get on this and make it work. And hopefully the neural networks get trained up a little bit. And then we're going to have full blown hand tracking. And the Quest is the first headset to have this. 
God damn it, I have to stop launching games. And the Quest is the first headset to have this, which is why it's so exciting, which is why I'm so excited that I bought the Quest and decided to buy it even after I already had the Rift S, because all these updates seem to be coming to the Quest and not the Rift S, which is slightly annoying for all the people that did buy the Rift S and don't want to buy the Quest because money, I mean, that's understandable. Of course, I bought it and I'm super happy that I did because this is amazing and Oculus or Facebook or whatever you want to call them at this point are delivering what they have promised and I'm super excited to see what they do for us next. So yeah guys, that's that's the hand tracking update. As you can see there, super exciting. I'm super excited to see what Oculus does, does with this. The more people we get on this, the better. It'll train their neural networks and I keep repeating this because I want as many people to get this as possible so that we can get training these neural networks and um, let Oculus steal our hands, I guess. <laughs> There's no more privacy in this world. You don't even get to keep your hands. But um, yeah, no, this is absolutely incredible. I hope you guys are excited for this as much as I am. And hopefully we get seeing some games for this next week when the developer SDK gets released because I am super excited for that. And I can't wait to be able to play VR chat and express my feelings using my hands. So... <laughs> that's it for this video. I hope you guys liked the first impressions. I hope this showed you what you wanted to find out. Uh, if you have any questions,